Good morning to all the Manchester United fans. It's 2 a.m. I can't sleep because I'm sad, I'm tired, hurt, whatever you call it. You know, I will post this video around, I don't know, 1, 12. It's Monday, by the way. You know, normally Monday, it's the Patrice who entertain you, make you laugh. But I'm sorry to all my Monday video fans, but I can't do a, a happy video when I'm not happy. You know, I'm not a fake person. So when my club hurt you so badly, you know, I, I need to, to, to say everything is in my chest, you know. And what I love about your own social media is no one can cut whatever you have to say. That's the beauty of uh, having his own social media and so many followers. Uh, yes, that's the only pleasure I get right now from my club, is drinking my green tea with my Manchester United cup. So, I don't know where to start. Let's start with the transfer. Come on, let's start with the transfer. Every year, I call it a déjà vu. Like I say, we make so much impact on social media, but the reality, every target, like the main target, I'm not asking because fans have to understand it's not because you buy five, six, seven, ten players, then your team will improve, you know. But at least your main target. And that's what we're not doing anymore. You know, at the time, fairly, David Gill time, we didn't hear, hear anything in the paper. But bam, bam, bam. Van Persie, Evra, Vidic, boom. Ferdinand, boom, boom. Everything fast. When Manchester United want a player, boom, they just go. And they go and they talk to him face to face, you know. When Ferguson and David Gill, they come to meet me at Monaco, it was like worse than an interview from the CIA or the FBI. But now, my phone is ringing, some football director about top club. They say, Patrice, can you ask please to a certain match judge, match you judge to answer to his phone? Uh, yes. People have to understand, we, we send lawyers to talk with players we want to go. So when you send lawyers, they talk about numbers. They are not people from the football world. So when we want a player, I don't know, he normally costs 20 million, we're going to end up like trying to buy him for 100 million. But even those players, they don't even want our money anymore. The, 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 the perfect example is Alexis Sanchez. Manchester City, they were the first one in the race, you know. He asked so much money, then even Guardiola, he said, I can't give you those kind of money because I'm going to lose my dressing room. And uh, But lucky for Alexis, Manchester United, he said, like, no, come, we got money here. Even him, he said, after one day, he asked to the agent to, if he can broke his contract. Even he said, no, I don't want your money. What a disrespect for all clubs, for the legacy we build. Because before us, you know, Bobby Charlton, George the Best, all those people, they make the history of the club. That's why we try to respect him. 99, us 2008, you know. And just some people, they just want to blow up all this legacy away. For what? Which reason? Business? Come on, guys. Come on. We are better than that. And, you know, it's easy to say those, no, me, I mention them. I don't care. I sacrifice my life to succeed for this club. And that's why I want people to do the players, the staff, and the people from the board. 